Hi, my name is Kate Eggleston, and welcome to the Mammoth Museum's first ever virtual summer camp art class. Today's project is called Gone Fishing. Have you ever been fishing before? You can fish in rivers, ponds, lakes, and the ocean. There's so many fish in the sea, and you get to make one today. These fish that we're going to make today remind me of a particular saltwater fish called a parrotfish. Parrotfish are very vibrantly colored. They look like the rainbow. So we're going to make our very own parrotfish. Okay, so first things first is you have the fish template, okay, pre-cut with a little hole punched right here, and that's where the yarn will tie through to make the fishing line towards the end, all right? Then you have, very important, glue stick, okay? We have two fins that are pre-cut out, so one goes on one side of the fish, one goes on the other. We have scales, lots of colorful scales. So you've got all these little pre-cut guys and you can put them in any color order you want so you get to be creative. Then we also have for the finishing touches, markers. I have markers that are here in my home. You will have markers that are different from mine in your kit, but they are great because they have dual tips. One tip is a fine point and one tip is a larger point on the marker. So you have the option if you wanna make a thin line or a thick line. All right, so let's get going. So the first step, very important, is we need to put the scales on the fish. So let me show you the sample again. So here's my fish, the fin goes on after. So we're gonna do the scales first and we're gonna start at the base near the tail. Okay. Take some glue and I'm gonna wind this up and I'm gonna start gluing on my scales. So get a nice circular bit of glue going here. Now the scales may not fit exactly to the fish and if you go off the fish a little bit that's fine. You're gonna put a nice neat row. You can use the same colors, you can use different colors, that is totally up to you. But you'll have a variety of colors to choose from in your art kit. So we're gonna get that first row done Okay, now, now that we have this first row completed, here's what's really important to do next, all right? You're going to overlap the next row slightly on the top of the first row. So let's find some other colors. Ooh, I've got some blue and some pink, these beautiful colors. So we're gonna put this one over slightly over the other one because fish scales in real life actually overlap to create an armor on the fish to create its skin. Okay, let's see what other colors we can get in here. Oh, we've got a nice light green, that's pretty. Light green always reminds me of the spring. Got another yellow, see? Now, when I'm putting them down, I'm turning them slightly so it arcs a little bit as it goes, so it's not a straight line, but it arcs around and that will actually fit the shape of the fish a little bit better. Okay. Now you wanna make sure you have enough scales left over for the other side of your fish too. So I would say use about 20 on one side and then another 20 on the other side so you have enough to do both. So you should have about 40 scales in your kit to do. And if you don't have colors that you want, maybe you can trade with someone or you can ask, okay. The great thing is with these, here we go, we can layer them on top of each other. Okay, let's get one more in this row and then I'm going to count just to make sure I'm on the right track. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Great, so I'm gonna add a couple more just to even it out nicely, okay? I think we need, what do we need? We need another green, we need another green. Here we go. Green and a yellow. 
look at this. So I was telling you earlier that parrotfish are beautifully colored. They have rainbow colored scales, absolutely fabulous fish, and they're very large. They also eat coral with their very sharp beaks. They don't have teeth, they have beaks. And they chew on coral, that's what they eat. And the wonderful thing is, is that once they expel the extra that they don't consume, it creates sand. So parrotfish and other fish like it that eat coral are responsible partially for sand at the beach and at the bottom of the ocean, pretty cool. Okay, now that we have all the scales on this one side, we left some space up top because we need an eyeball and some gills. So the next thing we're gonna do is add the fins. Well, one fin to this side. So with the fin, you're gonna fold just a little bit because we're gonna give this a 3D touch. So you have this tiny little tab here, right here. You're gonna put a tiny little bit of glue right here. Here we go. And then we're gonna glue just that little bit to here. You can have the fin up or down, it's up to you. I tend to put things in the center just because it makes it look a little bit more even. And now you have this little flippy fin. If you've ever seen Finding Nemo, remember he had that special fin? So I always like to think of this as the special fin. Okay, so let's flip it over and let's do the other side. Now, same thing. We're gonna start by gluing at the bottom towards the tail. And we're gonna see how many scales I have left over because I think I put a little too many on the other side. And what you can do is you can put these in a way that will take up space nicely. Here we go. Now, another cool thing, I'll give you some, I'm gonna hit you up with some more fish facts, fun fish facts. Now, I've fished before since I was a kid. And um, if you want to catch different types of fish, you use different types of bait. Now, what is bait? Bait can be a worm. Bait can be a lure, which is a, a hook with fancy bits on it. So some fish really like shiny things, like barracuda love shiny things. A lot of predatory fish look for shiny objects in the water because they think it is the gills of a fish or the scales of a fish reflecting the sun. So if you wanna catch a more predatorial fish, then you need to use what's called a spoon. A spoon is a flat piece of metal attached to a hook. Um, people fish for sport. People fish for food. I do not like to eat fish very often, but whenever I do catch them and go fishing with my daughter, what we do is we release them back into the ocean or into the lake, wherever we happen to be fishing, because if we're not gonna eat it, it needs to go back to its home. Okay, I think I have a couple more. I'm gonna use these up just to cover up the words here. I had some writing on this side. Here we go. What is really fun about using worms as bait is they're very wiggly. And the fish like that. They like food that wiggles. Do you like food that wiggles? Gosh, I hope not. Well, maybe. All right, here we go. I think I've got just enough to squeak out to the end. Oh boy, I do. Look at this. Just enough. Cool, okay. So, there we go. Fabulous. Very good. Now at any point, you need to pause the video. That is totally fine. You can always pause and rewind. I am going to add the second fin now to this side, about the same spot I did it on the other side. And there we go. So now, on both sides, whoops, a little flat. One side, two sides. Look at that, one and two. Fabulous! The first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start back here at the tail. So the tail needs some lines in it to make it look more like a fishtail. You can use wavy lines, 
Ooh, I'll maybe take some straight lines and some wavy lines. How about that? I'm gonna make it more fish-like. You can use whatever colors you want. If you wanna make three lines, you wanna make 10 lines, that is up to you. That is artist choice. Okay, now it looks more like a fishy on that side. So I'm going to leave it on this side and I'm gonna continue. So I think I'm gonna use green. Now we also need to make lines on the side fin. So I'm gonna do some wavy lines right here. That looks pretty convincing. Looks kind of like a fish, the lucky fin. Okay, now the eyes. The eyes are super duper important. I'm gonna go back to purple. Okay, you can use any color that you like. You're gonna start with one small circle. That is going to be the pupil of the fish's eye. The pupil is the part that is dark black. Oops, nope, it's the iris. Okay, we're gonna start with the iris. No, the... Okay, and I'm gonna leave a little tiny dot of white in there because you want to make it look like the fish can reflect light in its eye. It makes things look more real, realistic. It's called a catch light. I'm going to draw this fish's eye really big. And I'm going to use my green, put some little eyelids around. There, that's pretty good. I'm going to use yellow to color in around the eye. There we go, that looks great. Okay, the one thing the fishy is missing is gills. Gills are where the fish has little slits on the side of its neck usually that help it convert water to breathable air for itself. We're gonna add just a couple, you can add more than that if you like, okay? So any other details that you would like to add to this fish, please go ahead and try. So maybe with the skinny tip marker, maybe I'll put some polka dots on some of these scales, like really zhuzh it up, make it super pretty. Fancy fish, fancy fish. Okay, maybe I'll make some lines on this one. Maybe I'll do some zigzags on this one. So you could really doodle all over this fish if you like. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So let's look on the other side. Okay, the other side of the fish. All right, so same thing. We are going to make lines on the tail of the fish. I'm gonna use the wider tip on my marker here. I've got blue. Here we go. Look at those nice lines. Okay, then we have to do the lines on the side fin do some wavy ones because those always look fun. Okay, Now it's really starting to look like a parrotfish. Okay, so to do the eyeball on the other side, here's the trick. You need to make sure that it's about the same spot on this side that it is on this side. So I did purple and I know just about where I did it. If it's not perfect, it's totally fine. So you're gonna draw that little circle. Remember, that's the pupil. You're gonna leave a little spot white and color it in and then you're going to draw around i'm going to use green next for a little bit of an eyelid around the eye give it a little more personality i'm going to color mine in yellow just to give it a little bit more color okay and then I need to add the gills. I'm gonna make the gills red on this side, because why not? So one, two, three. That's pretty good. Now, with this fish, you may also go and color all this blank space, all these spaces. If you wanna color this whole thing with markers, go for it. You've got a nice, fun set of markers to make details, add anything that you like. 